What you guys doing today? Welcome back. Okay, this is our property in Kansas City, Kansas. Welcome to Kansas, you guys. See, in Kansas City, Missouri, we got access to both the Kansas side and Missouri side. And in Kansas, they have also the same access to Missouri as Kansas, okay? But this is our address at 31. 06 Stewart. That's 3106 Stewart, Kansas City, Kansas. The name of the county is called Wyandotte County. So let's kind of take a look at this house, okay? We're going to kind of give you guys today a virtual tour of the house, uh, tell you a little bit about it, what's going on, and things like that. Now, again, bear with me. It can be kind of dark in the inside because remember, the power is off and this is a vacant house, okay? Now, this is our investor special. This is advertised at 23000 cash only. We're looking for cash buyers because cash buyers buyers move quickly so are you rehabbers are you realtors wholesalers landlords or handyman or construction workers or people who just simply need a place to stay at hey this is an opportunity for you to either have a potential flip a potential place to stay in if you want to rent it out however this is for you so let's kind of take a look on the outside and see what's going on here shall we you guys remember this is 3106 Stewart Kansas City Kansas Wyandotte County okay all right we're one block off of 30 first and parallel okay cool so here's the yard okay if you guys kind of look at the yard the yard is not all the way cut you guys so kind of bear with me uh, if you look over in this far area over here you guys as I'm zooming in this is called a lot okay this lot is added on to you guys right so this is additional driveway space for you guys okay you know additional driveway space okay pretty big big yard you know I'll be going back there to the backyard so you guys can kind of see what's going on you know and what we're dealing with here but you know so this is kind of like the front yard tour uh, here's a next door neighbor next door neighbor's house is kind of nice and in-depth you know and then here you know here's the front yard so we're kind of backing up I'm kind of back up a little bit you guys so you can kind of, just kind of get an idea how the grass looks and the steps looks things like that okay here's the steps now we're going to kind of wave the camera I'm going to kind of wave the camera and device all around so you guys can kind of see what kind of neighbors we're dealing with the kind of street so here we go this is all of Stewart Street okay all right all of Stewart Street okay all right all of Stewart Street you see that all of Stewart Street okay and 31st Street okay all right now you see that street right there that street right there that street right there goes around a swirl and takes you back over to Parallel Parkway. So if you kind of see the cars going back and forth in the background, that's Parallel Parkway, you guys, okay? All right, that will bring you straight here, okay? We're about, I say about a half a mile away from a major highway called uh, I-635. That's one of the major highways here in Kansas City, Kansas, though, is I-635. And then also, too, it connects you with another highway called I-70, which I-70 also takes you through Kansas City, uh, Jefferson City, and then also St. Louis, Missouri, you guys, you know, and beyond, okay? All right, so this is all of Stewart Street, you guys, you know, so I kind of want to let you guys know what type of area you guys are looking at, you know? So I wave this camera. Here's another next-door neighbor to this house, you know? So we're swooping right back around, okay, right? It's a lot that is connected with this house, and boom, we're back at 30 one zero six steward okay all right cool so let's kind of take a look at the side of the house you guys okay kind of bear with me okay all right you see the kind of like the little old school bird bath you guys <laughs> old school huh and then i'm zooming in and zoom now here's the side of the house now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kind of back up a little bit all right so you guys can kind of see what's going on because you know how i do this i like to start from the outside of the house and then also work my way in the inside okay all right Hopefully, I'm doing great, you guys, okay? All right? You guys, if you can, rate this, comment, something, or make sure you give me a call. My phone number, again, 816-606-0505. Area code 816-606-0505. Or you can contact me at my alternate phone, 816-405-6876. 816-405-6876. Here's the porch, some windows. Let's look at the roof. The roof looks in pretty good condition, if you ask me. You know, the roof does look in pretty good condition. Does need some window jobs, you know. So if you guys want to upgrade the windows, it's perfectly fine, okay? All right. So we're going to walk back towards the back, okay? Here's another portion of the back of the house, okay? All right. So now we're going to go ahead and walk into another portion of the lot. 
if you guys see the driveway here there's an additional driveway to the lot okay so i'm gonna walk on to the driveway right and we can see a big grassy and bushy area okay and of course you know we need to get ready to chop that down eventually or if you guys can leave it up it's only up to you Here's a lot here, starting from here of the driveway all the way out to that street. Isn't that, isn't that a lot of space, you guys? You know, so that's a good chunk of space. You know, if you want to go ahead and uh, put your car here, put some dogs, cats here, whatever you guys want to do, a little planting area, however you want to do it. You know, so we go back here to this area. You know, you can also see it's good and bushy back here. You know, as you can see, you know, I'm just kind of going around a circle here's the big bushes big bush area you know that's kind of dividing that little small area of the driveway you guys you know so here here's the backyard okay as you can see the backyard you know the backyard is kind of uh, mid-range you know a little small backyard as you would say you know uh, kind of workable you know whatever you want to do with it you know um, here's an old laundry line pole you know you guys can straighten that up and then boom uh use that to hang your laundry out to save on your electric bill you know for uh not uh, being able to necessarily use a dryer you know so hey you know options are available you know okay uh we've got a top window up there as you can see that top window keep it real with you guys you know uh someone try to break in and tamper with this place you know so yeah you know it's either that you know or accident could have happened a prior person who stayed here probably try to break it so we do got a board and something kind of sealing that up right there so things can look pretty much intact okay all right you know so here's the back door here's two windows here's that top roof and then here's the second uh second roof that is sitting on top of the back area you see what i'm saying all right here's a little pathway here okay cool so what i'm gonna do now so i'm gonna work my way back okay towards the front of the side of this house you guys okay i'm glad you guys are bearing with me with this okay this could be a little bit of an adventure <laughs> yeah i understand that so yeah so we're gonna back on over here towards the porch side okay all right as you guys i'm just showing you the porch area this is just a side glance of the porch area because i'm just going over here to the other side of the house you guys okay remember the grass is a little tall so you know for some of you guys landscapers this might be for you guys you know landscapers handyman rehabbers whoever you know remember we want cash buyers man cash buyers only okay uh here's the other side of the house smaller side very small side of the house here's a big branch in the way there's no uh, condensing unit, no AC unit, no condensing unit, you guys. So all you heating and air conditioning guys like me, of course, you know, I'm a heating and air conditioning, plumbing and electrical and appliance repair technician, you know. So, hey, man, you know, you guys kind of know this game, where to place it, where to sit it, how much it's going to cost you guys, where to get a cheap one, where to get a brand new one. You know, it's up to you guys. Options are unlimited, very unlimited, you guys. OK, all right kind of bushy over here in this area you know I'm gonna kind of give you guys a quick peek out here in the backyard that's the backyard we just came from see that right there remember that pole I was just talking about for laundry hanging up yeah there it is right there okay got gotcha, you cool all right so there's a window here so far not much damage you know not much damage probably some window upgrades you probably might see a cracker here in some of the windows so anyway we're doing okay aren't we all right cool so we're gonna walk back to the front uh, this is our neighbor's house you know so I'm just walking on their path right here okay all right cool all right so we're doing okay all right so now what we're going to do now is i'm going to kind of go ahead and start entering right back into the house uh here's another shot of the front porch as you can see another shot of the front porch plenty of room plenty of barbecue room yeah i remember how here in kc man we barbecue this is what we do yep we barbecue but anyway <laughs> go go chiefs go go Kansas city royals that's how we do it but anyway so here's the door y'all uh, i'm gonna go ahead and walk on in and when i walk on in you guys here's the address 3106 all right sky blue house so you guys know i'm not playing but anyway i'm walking in and here's our tour now bear with me you guys there are some places in here that can be very dark okay all right so here's our living room they just stripped everything down to its bare you know because they started to do some rehabs here as you can see here's some tile here all right and then here's an older model tv you know the last tenants kind of left here and then here here's a window here and this would be called the living room area so here's the door we just walked into window and then also to here is 
one of the walls here that leads into the dining room area. As we look, here's the ceiling, here's the light in here, ceiling, ceiling all around you guys, ceiling all around, going into the entry ray. Okay, hopefully that's a pretty good glance to you guys what's going on. So we're walking into the dining room area. Here's the light here. Here's the entry ray that leads to the kitchen. All right, we're kind of circling around. Here's a window that was blocked off. If you guys kind of seen that from outside, when I was talking about the uh, air conditioning condensing unit that wasn't there, okay? All right, as we circle around, here's the entryway where we just came from. Okay, circling around, circling around. Here's another window. And also, too, here's the upstairs. These are the upstairs that leads to both and all of the bedrooms okay all right cool we can kind of look at the wood floor look at this wood floor you guys the wood floor does need some repairs if you guys want to take this wood floor out or throw some carpet down there it's kind of up to you guys how you guys want to do it you know all you guys any skill trades you know you guys know what i'm talking about man don't be sitting up here playing man i know what i'm talking about <laughs> so yes it's all about square feet in it yeah <laughs> all right so anyway so we're gonna go ahead before I go ahead and go upstairs and show you guys the bedrooms, we're going to enter into the kitchen area, okay? All right, so we got a stove right here. As we got the stove, here's some walls. Now, here's some walls that need some sheetrock work, as you guys can see. Some of it needs sheetrock work, okay? All right, see that? All right, are we seeing that? Okay. Here is a, a sink. And as you can see, it does need some sheetrock and painting work. You know, uh, some of the ceiling needs to be repaired here. Here's a light here, an older light. Okay, all right. Here's an entry right that leads to the back. This leads to a back door back here. Kind of leave this sealed off back here, you know. You know, just in case, you know, anything could happen, you know. So that's the last sellers for you guys, you know. So, but anyway, yeah, that's the last sellers for you guys. That's what they do. But um, here is the kitchen area. You know, hopefully you guys are seeing this in really good view, man. Like I said, I apologize about the darkness, you know. Okay, so we're going to walk back here, okay. And here, it's kind of dark here, but this is like a laundry area. So I'm going to see if I can get this door open for you guys, okay. Give me one moment. But it is kind of dark, you guys. Let's see. Okay, here we go. All right. There we go. I hope this helps you guys. All right, cool. So here's the back door. Here's a little shelf here. You can put your... Laundry detergent, bleach, clothes, cleaning equipment, lawnmower equipment, whatever you guys do, handyman, tools, equipment, whatever. Um, here's a little small laundry area. They got laundry, uh, washer and dryer hookups, ready to rock and roll. Does need sheet rock, does need painting, you know, wouldn't hurt to possibly repair this light fixture or clean it and actually test it and see if it works, you know. Little holes here and there on the wall. Here is the flooring base, the flooring area. Some of the flooring area, just from my understanding, just need a really good cleaning down here. And if you want to replace it, hey, that's on you guys. Personally, I would seriously just go ahead and clean it out and also identify where my leaks are at, things like that, man. I mean, for real. Certain little things like that are cosmetic and actually can get repaired and clean with very, very, very minimal budget. You know, you don't have to go intense and go wild with your budget, but you know, it kind of depends on, you know, if you got it like that, you know, or you're a tight wide or great spinner or investor, it kind of depends on you, you know? So yeah, you know, like I say, I don't know everybody else's material or money situation. Everybody's situation is different. You understand that? But anyways, uh, so backing out of here, I'm gonna leave that open. So then here, we're gonna go ahead and back on out here and go straight down here towards this bathroom area. Now this bathroom area is very, very dark as you can see, you know, but kind of bear with me, you know, when you guys, if it's too dark, you guys, um, and you got guys can't see it, you just have to bear with me because there's gonna come a time when you guys call me up and say, I wanna see the house, I wanna see the house. And um, what I'll do is put myself in a position where I can just give you guys a tour for yourself. Make sure you guys, when you guys come here, bring flashlights because it is kind of dark, okay? Bring flashlights. I'm going to say it again. We're not talking about using the flashlights on your phones. No, those flashlights are not bright light. Bring an actual flashlight, multiple flashlights. That would help. Trust me on this, okay? 
Trust me, okay? Uh, I was just about to take you guys to the basement, but it's so, so dark in there. So dark, you know, I can't be able to see a thing, okay? All right, you know, so I don't, you know, I'm not in a position where I can just hold a flashlight and hold um, the camera at the same time. So just bear with me, okay? But anyway, uh, so when it all boils down to it, you know, uh, when it all boils down to it, you know, we're going to go ahead and head on up here, but just trust my word for it. It does have a, have a water heater here and it does have a furnace. Okay. It does have an electric water heater and a gas water heater. The gas is put to the side. The water heater is plugged in, ready to go. The, uh, furnace is a gas furnace and that's plugged up and that's ready to go. But from you, handyman, maintenance guys, heating and air conditioning techs, rehabbers and construction workers you guys kind of know what's going on but anyway we're going to go up these steps okay cool so here's the steps and we're going to go into each of the bedrooms okay all right so as i'm kindly going up the steps remember you guys this does need some cleaning some repairs things like that okay all right so here's the steps here we just came up um here's the windows kind of sealed off from weatherization all right cool and this is what we call bedroom number one okay bedroom number one uh bedroom number one here here's a closet here's a tv kind of look at the area a little bit bedroom one closet tv here's some space like i said i will repair some of these hardwood floors in here if not, throw some carpet on there. It's kind of up to you guys. You know, everybody got their own preference. Here's a light up here. You know, here's a light up here. Here you go. Boom. Another light. Another light. Remember, this is called a rehab special. Rehab. Okay? Rehab. All right, cool. Fixer upper. Handyman. Things like that. Bedroom number two. All right, bedroom number two, sliding slope area, sliding slope. All right, you guys kind of look at the walls, the ceilings, you know. Does need extra paint. Does need a repair. All it needs is tender love and care for the perfect handy man or handy woman. Okay, here's a light in this room. That's bedroom number two, okay, all right. Remember, you can put doors up on these, okay? And then here's bedroom number three. A very small area. This small area can be a small office. It could be for the children's room. And either of the rooms can actually be for the children. You know, be for an office. It's kind of up to you guys. What do you guys want to do? What do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to play ball and take this serious? Or you guys want to procrastinate? Nah, I'm not for sure. Hey, it's up to you guys, man. All right, 23,000 cash, cash only, all right? This is an opportunity for someone who wants to do something and actually either have a place to stay at, have a place to live, turn this into an actual rental property. You can also have the opportunity where not only you turn this to a rental opportunity, you can turn this to a flip. I mean, it's kind of up to you guys, you know, sectionate it out, wholesale it. I mean, it's kind of up to you. I mean. Everybody, every investor kind of know this game just like I do. So anything is possible. But anyway, so we're going to kind of work our way back upstairs. But these are all the bedrooms that are upstairs. Okay. These are all the bedrooms. Okay. So we went through bedroom one, which I'm in right now. Bedroom two, bedroom three. Okay. Boom. All right. Cool. And then also, all right, I told you guys about the bathroom. Bathroom was so dark. I could not really do much in there i apologize trust me it is a bathroom and also trust me it does have a furnace in here and it does have a water heater you know so hey it's kind of up to you guys what you guys want to do how you guys want to do things you know so here's the front door i'm gonna kind of go back to the entryway go straight to the back door kind of show you guys one more time that it's not a game and it's real so as we go back through here, boom, there you go. Lead us straight back to the backyard. See that? Remember the backyard? Remember this right here? That's our reference point. Backyard, the upstairs uh, window. And then we're going to walk back over to the side. 
Remember the side of the house? Yes. All right. We're off back to the side of the house. Okay. So anyways, as you guys can see, like I said, this is a handyman fixer upper rehab opportunity, you know, for any investor, any cash buyer. We want a cash buyer. Cash buyer. So again, if this is an opportunity and you guys really seek that this is something that you would like to pursue and you are serious, serious, serious cash buyers. No matter if you're long distance, if you're long distance, hey, that's why I'm making this video to kind of eliminate a lot of timing and trips. You know, it's kind of up to you guys. You guys want to come out here and take a look? Fine. You got my phone number. Give me a call. All right. Or send me an email. Phone number, area code 816-606-0505. That's area code 816 816- 606-0505 or you can contact me on my alternate phone at 816-405-6876 at 816-405-6876 or you can email me at mrgg2005 at gmail.com that's mrgg2005 at gmail.com Calm, okay all right i will be shooting this video on youtube i will be shooting it on glide on facebook snapchat you know and possibly some of the other sites and on google so hey you know if you guys got a google account youtube account hey just click on it and you will also see this on craigslist so yeah just give me a call and if your cash bar cash bars can close within seven days hey give us a call this house does has a clean title and it's up to you guys to kind of make a decision, okay? You know, uh, this is at 3106 Stewart, Kansas City, Kansas, uh, zip code 66104. And uh, this is one block off of 31st and Parallel, not far from I-635 Highway, and also, too, not far from any major traffic ways as far as like 18th street and also parallel and also highway i-70 also too you know that takes you back to the missouri side okay all right but anyways i'll talk to you guys later I hope everything goes well for you hopefully you guys make a great decision if this isn't for you please please refer this to someone else make someone else's day you know so hey you know this is house is going for twenty three thousand cash cash only if you make an offer offers are considered it's up to you talk to you guys later have a nice day make a decision do do what you can and act fast peace first come first serve